Greetings from Manitoulin Island and welcome to Parkinson's disease, Recovery is Possible. I'm Fred Phillips and I'm a person living with the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. In contrary to conventional thought, I believe recovery is possible. And this video series is about my journey, what I've learned along the way, and the protocol and, and uh, daily regimen that I've created to help me recover my health. Today I'd like to talk about something really simple we can do to help to stimulate the production of dopamine, which is really what this is all about, those of us living with Parkinson's. It's all about uh, retraining or reprogramming the brain to produce dopamine. And the simple thing we can do, or one of the most simple things we can do, that is, is to hug a tree, to spend time in nature. Misa Hopkins, the author of the root of all healing, said that the single most important thing people living with the symptoms of Parkinson's can do is to spend time in nature because the natural energies of the forest help to balance our internal circadian rhythms, which is our 24-hour clock, which in turn uh, helps us to create, or to, to helps us to balance our neurotransmitters and hormones. In essence, what it does is that spending time in nature or more specifically, hugging a tree. It helps to uh, put us in a parasympathetic nervous state, the calm state. And in this state, our brain produces dopamine and serotonin. And this is all based on new discoveries in neuroscience, particularly or more specifically having to do with the, the brain's ability to be neuroplastic and create new neural pathways and new neurons and synapses, including those that uh, are involved in the production of dopamine. So I spend a lot of time, I'm blessed every day that I get to, I live in nature. I live on Manitoulin Island. I live on a lake in a forest. So I get to spend time every day in, in, in the forest. And I literally hug trees. I talk to them. I tell them how much I love them. It may seem a little bit weird, but it, 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 I, I believe it helps. If you don't have access to a forest, if you don't live near a forest, maybe perhaps you live near a city park where you can spend some time. And if that isn't available to you as all, well, if you've got house plants, you can simply look, sit and look at your house plants, talk to your house plants or go on YouTube and put on a nature uh, video and listen to the sounds of nature. Anything you can do to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system state, put yourself in that calm state, and get your brain producing dopamine and serotonin. If you do that long enough, I, I believe eventually, because the brain is neuroplastic, it will start to do it on its own. And eventually that will lead to recovery. So I hope that helps. If you did and you like what you've heard, please hit the subscribe button below or the notification button if you'd like to receive notifications of future videos. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you have any questions or if you'd like to share your own experiences, please see my email, email below this video or go visit my blog where you'll find over 500 posts on various experiences involving uh, my experience, my journey with Parkinson's. So we'll see you next time. In the meantime, have an awesome day. May you be healthy and may you be content. Cheers.